President Donald Trump announced the extension of the 15-day guidance issued on March 16th by the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention by a full month in recognition of the gravity of the outbreak. He has been reluctant to acknowledge America has the most cases in the world now. We'll be extending our guidelines to 30th April to slow the process, the U.S. President told reporters at an outdoor White House briefing at the outbreak. We'll be finalizing these plans and providing a summary of our findings, supporting data and strategy to the American people on Tuesday. Called the 15 days to slow the spread, the CDC guidelines were a template followed by state, city and municipal governments around the country to combat the coronavirus, a series of stay-at-home recommendations for people who felt ill or someone in their family and for the elderly and those with pre-existing conditions the most vulnerable. State and local governments built on them to issue stay-at-home orders as cases and fatalities escalated in their respective jurisdictions. More than half of America's 50 states are under these restrictions now, or variations of it, with exemptions of services and workers deemed essential. Trump had hoped to reverse them around Easter, the Christian holiday that falls on 12th of April, arguing that the restrictions had been more damaging for people and the economy than the illness, queered about it on its Saturday, he that target date was aspirational. Experts on Trump's task force on coronavirus have issued the same concept of modeling to project a more tired picture of the impending crisis than the president is inclined to concede.